Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, it's an off day Now we on road, keep us Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today we are doing an install on the interior of Vader, you dig? But it's a little bit different. As I, as I told y'all in the last vlog, I'm getting more active on TikTok, man, so I'm actually going to be live streaming this behind the scenes type vibe so if you don't follow me on tiktok go follow me on tiktok right now it pops up on the screen man go tap in obviously you dig what i'm saying this is in real time you guys aren't seeing this video until i want to say wednesday which is a whole almost a week from now tomorrow's christmas so go follow me on tiktok if you haven't already man for real but Jumping into today's video, and you know, we gotta take the live with us. Uh, we actually got an interior modification again, got the live chat going, man. I'll make sure y'all tap in. But we finna set them up. Well, maybe just lock. We about to set these boys up real quick, right? Oh, damn, damn, I locked my phone. All right, all right, we back on live, we back on live, we're back on live. All right, yeah, we back. Okay, so I'm finna set up my phone right there. Yeah, man, just a little piece of context for you guys. Next Gen Speed sent out a care package for the kid, man. Next Gen Speed always, you know, hooking the boy up. This is the final piece for the interior for the dashboard, and then the complete the dashboard it will be lit. So let's go ahead and get in the car. I already opened the box, I'm not gonna lie, but... <clears throat> I still waited though, feel me? So yeah, we finna set y'all up. Set the live up right there. And then set y'all up right here, feel me? And I'm gonna roll these windows down. There we go. I'm trying to get some more light in here for y'all. Set y'all up in the corner, man. So basically, man, you dig? I already opened the box to make sure that they sent me the right thing. And they did, of course. We got the carbon fiber overlay for the radio. So there you guys go. We got the carbon fiber right there, as you guys may or may not know. Then we got the carbon fiber on the knee pads, the shifter. Just did the AC controls and the AC vents. Um, we got this side carbon fiber going crazy we got the stern wheel we got the gauge cluster trimming um and we were literally just missing the radio and now we got the radio cover as well shout out next gen speed man took care of the kid threw out another piece of carbon this is what it's gonna kind of look like just sitting over oh man so as you guys know you gotta go ahead and peel off that plastic um, to expose the 3M tape and then you just lay it over. It's gonna be a quick video for you guys. That's actually why I went live on TikTok. So let's go ahead and get the install going. I'm about to peel all these pieces off and then we'll throw it on. Sheesh! And there you guys have it, man. Let me cut the flash on. Oh my god, that carbon goes insane, y'all. Oh, uh, ooh! The steering wheel. Got that side piece, got that 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 gauge cluster trimming, got the knee pads, got the gear shifter, got the vent con the AC controls, man, bro, got the door joints going too, man. We need to we need to <laughs> we need to chill. <laughs> oh man, bro, y'all don't understand how good this looks and how excited I am. Um, currently, the missus' car is in front of me, so I can't even pull the car out into the sun or nothing like that. But, bro, this looks too good, man. It looks amazing. I mean, this really looks phenomenal. 
I love I love the way the interior ended up turning out, man. If y'all like it as well, leave a comment, man, and drop a like on this video for real, cause man. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. It's like a carbon fiber house. I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in accessory mode so that I can roll the windows back up, but let you guys see it with the radio on. Come on. There we go. Radio's on. Man, bro. It just completely transforms the look, man. It completely transformed it. I mean, look at... Just look at that, man. My God. It looks so good. Sheesh. Craziest part about all of this is the car barely has just under 26,000 miles, man. <laughs> and I got it with 10,000 miles on it. So I've done all of this to this car in under a year and in under 20,000 miles. Crazy. Just crazy. Man. Looks so good. Yo, what's, what's up with y'all, man? What's good with y'all? Why? How are y'all about to just let me end this video without even addressing the, the fact that this was the first install video inside the new and improved J.I.H.Q., man. Like, y'all just... Y'all just let me completely overlook that fact when doing this install. And it's insane. I can't lie, man. So, yeah, man. As you guys can probably already tell, um, I got a do-rag on now in the last clip. I didn't have my do-rag on. It's a different day. Also, the cars are kind of swapped <laughs> places. So, yes, it's a completely different day. This is actually like a two to maybe three-day video um as you guys know we just had christmas if you guys don't you know celebrate christmas or observe christmas i guess is what people are saying nowadays then you know completely exclude this part of the video but if you guys do observe christmas then merry christmas to y'all um as you guys know kind of just had christmas literally yesterday um when i was shooting this video it was like two to three days before christmas so <laughs> now that it's the day after Christmas and I'm just now closing this video out is insane, but mm, neither the less we need to close the video out. So basically, man, as you guys saw, we got the radio cover carbon fiber piece from next gen speed again huge shout out to next gen speed man um you guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think I should stop? right now with all the carbon um do you think it's enough as far as just doing the dashboard or should i also do the center console now the reason why i'm asking you guys is because of the simple fact that the, cent the central console is not like the radio piece or the airbag cover piece or even the push start stop button insert it's not a actual like hard piece it is a overlay so with that being said you guys know how overlays and fitment do not really go together <laughs> so i am i was just having this conversation with my wife because we were um, out getting a couple things from the grocery store and she was asking me am i still going to do the center console now let me get the keys real quick so i can show you guys what part I'm talking about so y'all can make an informed decision on whether or not I should get this piece. All right, y'all. So here we are. Interior door open. Carbon steering wheel going crazy. Y'all can kind of get a peek at the interior from back here. But you know we got to let the carbon dance on y'all one time, man. So as y'all can see, carbon fiber is decked out through this entire interior. But the place that I'm talking about is right here and around the cup holder and around the entire gear shifter. Now, you guys hear me out, man. I know I am not the biggest fan of exposed hard plastics in interiors. I know 
carbon fiber would definitely look way better however the only thing is like i said it's an overlay man so like if i don't get it to lay down flat and flush the very first time you guys already know how things go when you peel them back and then try to realign them that first lay you feel me that first contact with the double side sticky tape or adhesive and whatever surface you're trying to lay the overlay on there's no getting that first contact back you feel me so like if you mess up the first time nine times out of ten you go have issues with it peeling up and stuff like that and i personally will not be able to drive my car peacefully <laughs> like it will literally it will literally irk me as i'm driving my car i'll probably be messing with it trying to straighten it out mess around and crash the car in the process i'm not even being like dramatic or exaggerated which i'm being so serious so with that being said man i don't know if i should get the piece or if i should just leave it as it is um i do know that next gen speed and wild hammer motorsports if i'm not mistaken offered the carbon fiber replacement armrest for that little cubby that's in the center console and i've been thinking about going ahead and swapping that out i'd rather do that than do the alcantara that comes on the zl1 packages um but the only thing with that is the simple fact that as you guys saw in the clip before these two clips the car only has 25,000 miles so that leather is pretty much brand new there's no issues with it at all it's not torn it's not wrinkled it's not the stitching on it is not discolored or anything like that so it's like I kind of can't justify replacing it with the carbon fiber one only for the simple fact that I want it to be carbon fiber you see what I'm saying so it's like I don't know if I should do it or not. Maybe I'll do that piece and not do the center console overlay and then call it a day as far as the carbon goes for the center console and the dashboard. Now, as you guys know, we do have the door cards um, of a 1SS or so doesn't have the ambient lighting function yet. With that being said, I got something in the works for Wildhammer Motorsports right now. Matt, huge shout out to you. Nicole, huge shout out to you. As always, shout out to the Wildhammer gang. But we got some things in the works, so I seen a comment either on my TikTok or on here that told me that I need the carbon fiber um, covers that go around where that ambient lighting goes on the door cards, and just just bear with me, y'all. Just I'm the carbon fiber king, okay? I'm going to go ahead and say it now. I'm the carbon fiber king. I know I don't have all the carbon fiber exterior pieces yet. Just hold on. They coming. You feel me? But the interior though, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know who has as much carbon fiber in their interior as I do, but it's not a race, it's not a competition. It ain't none of that. But just know that the carbon fiber door carts are coming, okay? Don't worry. We going crazy for sure. But with all that being said, man, huge shout out to you guys for watching the video. If you got this far into the vlog, thank you so much. Again, Merry Christmas to you and your families. I hope you guys have a safe holidays, a safe New Year, you feel me, and New Year's Eve. Um, you know, just be careful on them streets, man, because people be drinking and driving a lot during New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and y'all just be safe out there. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Y'all let me know down in the comment section down below, what do y'all think? Do the carbon fiber overlay, or do the carbon fiber armrest, or do both. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy the dashboard and how it's looking so far. Again, huge shout out to Next Gen Speed once again. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. Peace.